everybody, this is uh, way after we filmed the content that's in this video, but basically while we were in Pigeon Forge and uh, Gatlinburg area, we ate uh, virtually every meal, and we only basically ate breakfast and dinner on a daily basis, mm -hmm. um, and we didn't film detailed reviews and get into specifics of every restaurant that we ate at, but we did get some clips of every place that we ate at. And uh, this is just a compilation of those clips. I think some folks were interested. We did hit some really cool places while we were there. Yeah. Uh, like there was a monster hamburger place. Uh -huh. um, we ate at an animated chicken. Uh, <laughs> Breakfast. Animatronic chicken <laughs> place. And there was some really good food too. Uh, like local goat I think might have been my favorite place to oh, eat yeah. at while local we were there. Local goat was amazing. So in any event, these are the clips that we recorded while we were eating while we were in Tennessee. Good morning from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're off to Dollywood today, but before we do, we want to get our bellies loaded up next to the comedy barn. We're making a stop at Frizzle's Chicken Farmhouse Cafe. Shout out to the In The Loop guys, because we watched their video, saw this place, and knew we had to stop here. For the food, stay for the animatronic chickens. This is the menu. I gotta go whole breakfast with some pancakes and eggs. But they do have chicken and waffles. Now our seat, right underneath Kelly Cluxon. <laughs> There are chickens all over this place, and they do a show every 30 minutes. Dwight Yoakum, still moving. And Stefani. And Jim Henson. Chicken's hard at work making waffles. This is the food. Eggs, bacon, potatoes, but these pancakes they're like the size of a book. That's how thick they are. Just got biscuits and gravy. And Mary, French toast. Breakfast was great. The animatronics are hilarious. Frizzles are right next to the Carmody Barn. I don't think this is on the agenda this week. But let's see what a man eating chicken is all about. Ah! That's hilarious. And that's a dangerous baby rattler. <laughs> All right, for dinner, we're not going to do a gimmicky place tonight. We're going to the local goat. Check out this merchandise. I love that shirt in the middle. Here's a peek of the menu. Although they do encourage you to use a QR code, they give you one menu per table still. For technologically unsavvy people. Waiting for starters, we're going to get cheese fondue and deep fried deviled eggs. Deep fried deviled eggs with sriracha on it and bacon. They also have wings, they have salads, soups. Strawberry salad sounds delicious. But I'm gonna go Billy Burger. And the Billy Burger is sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions, Swiss cheese, and garlic aioli. 
That's our local picks. Mary is going ahi tuna steak. Just make those crab cakes, or they have a BLT with crab cakes also. Yeah. And they also have shrimp and grits. 98% of what's on the menu is locally sourced, including bread that they make on site, and they cut their own meat as well. They also have a stacked drink menu, so I'm gonna go local goat American lager from the restaurant itself. This is the cheese fondue appetizer, and this are deep fried deviled eggs. What? The deviled eggs are amazing. And this is the Billy's Lager. Absolutely smooth and delicious. Went perfect with those eggs. And the fondue is on point. That is delicious. This is my Billy Burger, but I added bacon to it. The ahi steak and crab cakes. Back from dinner with the goats. That place was absolutely positively delicious. Thanks to Mary and Jess for finding that place. Not one of the suggested places that folks told us to hit, but we will definitely be back there again. Well, more breakfast. This time, Flop Jack's Pancake Cabin. More pancakes everywhere. For me today, the Barn Buster. And the sticky bun pancakes looks good too. So does Reese's peanut butter pancakes. This is my breakfast. Oh, and this too. And this is Mary's. And this. And this. And this is Jess's club sandwich. So Flat Jack's Pancake Tavern. It was alright. Cabin, tavern, tavern, cabin. Continuing with our healthy eating on vacation. Next stop for dinner, No Way Jose's. I said deep cuts only for Dave Matthews. This is not deep cuts. No. Salsa and chips. This is our food. Freezing. I don't know where this food is gonna go. To the toilet. That's later. <laughs> no way, Jose's. Not so good. It's good. These guys liked it more than me. It's freezing there, but the food was mm. chips. Stale. Chips are stale. Salsa. <sighs> Good morning. We're in Pigeon Forge for breakfast today. It's Smokey's Pancake House. Pancake cabin, house, brick wall. Pancakes! It's <laughs> good coffee. These are strawberry cheesecake pancakes that just got. Going bacon, eggs, sausage, biscuits, gravy. I want to play. <laughs> this was awesome. I think this was the best breakfast we've had so far in Tennessee. Dinner? Monster Mash Burgers. Dogs, apostrophe S. Food themed after Universal Monsters. This is what the menu looks like. Whoa, look at the Frankenstein. Oh, this is so fun. We've got shirts. I don't normally film in bathrooms, but this is all themed out also. So cool. Look at this. When you choose the bathroom, you got Frankensteins or Brides of Frankensteins. Little monster facts on the walls. And then you have food descriptions on the walls also. Black Lagoon Mac. That's what I got. You got the Black Lagoon Mac? Yeah. Mary got the Dracula Steak Mac. And I got the Vampire Chorizo. And they've got this 
Frankenstein burger that feeds two to six, but if two people eat it Dude. and finish it, you get it for free. They've got shakes, they've got boozy floats. Look at that Fanta Jack o' Lantern, Dead Man's Float. And then cocktails, Chuparita, Monster Island. I mean, Monster Island, right up my alley. Mm -hmm. A pina, gulata. It's all kind of theming throughout this place. Check it out. Let's do it. This is my burgery thing, chorizo. Oh, what's that? That's like toxic sludge sauce. I'm gonna try it. It's Creole mustard. I like that. That is mac and cheese. What's in the middle? Crab. Oh, and shrimp. Mm. And that is steak. This is so good. That's just chorizo chopped in there. Mmm, so spicy. Breakfast today. The log cabin pancake house. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Look at this. There is a line to eat everywhere. There is no buffet bar due to COVID-19. There are so many things to choose from. Oh my goodness. The table is like laminated with ads for all of the local businesses here, including the real McCoys. There we got cherry crepes. That looks amazing. I got a bacon omelet with cheese, pancakes, and just got biscuits and gravy. Out of all of the pancakes I've eaten this week, this is the best so far. Log cabin pancakes. Our last meal in Tennessee, Bennett's Pit Barbecue. We're getting a spicy brisket filling. Why? Because it's there. And more deep fried deviled eggs. Fried deviled eggs. Some stuff on it? I think it's salsa. Caviar? Looks like peppers. This is the brisket filly. Just got an ultimate sandwich. And this is pulled chicken. No, it's not. It's pulled. <laughs> it's a Carolina. Pulled pulled. Pulled pork Carolina style. Yay! <laughs> well, this was a good meal to end on. Everyone's wearing a mask here, including this turkey. Mary has fallen asleep <laughs> while you guys were watching those clips. Uh, welcome back in any event. That's uh, that's all that we had for this uh, little compilation thing for all the places that we ate at. Like I said, Local Goat, I think, um, was probably my favorite place or the best food. My favorite place to eat was uh, it Frazzles or Frizzles. Yeah. The uh, animated uh, animatronic chicken. chicken place. That place was just fantastic to eat. It, was, it <laughs> so made me feel okay. like a little kid. And the food was good too. But. Anyway, that's going to do it. So thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Oh, what was your favorite place? Local Coop. Local Coop. Mm -hmm. Treat others the way you want to be treated. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you guys.